Well, Orion's disappearing from my night sky and it'll soon be galaxy season. But I thought I'd just quickly share with you my easy and quick method of dealing with the blown out core of the Orion Nebula. Now I know there's plenty of tutorials around for using PixInsight and for using Photoshop, using masks and using the eraser tool that I've seen recently which is a really good one if you're using it. But this is a very simple, very quick fix that can be done using free software. In fact my favourite astrophotography free software, Sequitor. So let's have a look on the screen and I'll show you this little tip. Here we are at my laptop with a couple of processed images. Both of these are results of stacking. This is 10 images taken at 2 minutes at ISO 200. And this is 10 images taken at 3 minutes at ISO 800. Taken with my Canon EOS 60. Let's have a closer look at the core. As you can see the core is more visible here and completely blown out here. So I'll show you how we can deal with this in a very simple method. So we open Sequitor, we add our two images, we set up an output file. So I'll we'll save that as output.tf. And here, where the yellow pointer is, double click it to turn on high dynamic range. And then click start. And as you can see, Sequitor has done a very quick high dynamic range of the image. And where the core was blown out, we now have more detail combined from the lower exposed image showing more stars 